Hey everybody, I'm vlogging today because we are going out for our anniversary and we're going out for dessert in a little bit. And I think the desserts, well I know the desserts gonna be really cool. So I wanted to hopefully show some of that. But for now we are in uh, down, downtown Naperville trying to park, but it's a little bit busy because it's a weekend. And we're just gonna walk around and enjoy the day and hopefully not get rained on. As we're walking, I think we're gonna get to see some of those hearts. Um, downtown Naperville has heart, and so I think there's a bunch of them just kind of scattered around the downtown area. And that one's cute. It says, love is in the hair. Here's another heart. This one was sponsored by Ed Edgewood Clinical Services. We're at Barnes & Noble now, so we're just looking around. And look at this book I found. 50 fun and inventive amusements for your cat. Maybe we should get this. This is a game I just learned to play. Deep Sea Adventure. It was really cute. Ooh, $20 for this little box though. Sheesh. Conceal that fact. We love looking at games. I could look at games like all day. Battle Kittens. It's another interesting sounding one. And see this one's only $10. They have a lot of great Harry Potter stuff. Look at the wax seals. And this really big Slytherin candle. And tote bags. That's a tote bag. Journals. Oh, these cool purses I like. So maybe that's something we can find over there. But here's a Parisian inspired heart with locks on it. I like that one. That one's really fun. This might be my favorite heart. It's got two different sides though. It's from the Humane Society. Look. We're walking by the chocolate store. I was going to try and get a picture of the sign, but never mind. But hopefully you can see what they have in the window. It's like a chocolate base with popcorn on top. And little pretzels too. It's like a popcorn cake. Yeah, we got to figure out how to make that. We're done shopping for now and walking around Naperville. It's really warm and now we're going to go to our dessert reservation and we're gonna be a little early but that's okay. okay. So we went to, thank you, the Apple store and this is what, okay, my husband picked out these thingies, so wireless charging pads. We've never tried these before so I hope they work out. And then I got to pick something also Ooh, from Sir La Tab. Oh, drat the luck, it's all wrapped up. This is my big purchase of the day. Da da da! A little glass ounce measure, measuring cup, but this is specifically why I wanted it because. It has um, one ounce markings of my fingers. It has as low as one ounce. So that's what I went looking for. It's a little bit bigger than I wanted. Actually, I wanted something like shot glass size, but that's fine. So that was my big purchase. And now we're off. This is the parking lot for the restaurant. I think it's just further down. But this is the Fogo place. This is where I went to the other week. Oh. It's like a Brazilian steakhouse and it was so, no, it actually is it's not like it is a Brazilian steakhouse. And it was so good. I didn't realize you were that close. Yeah, I told you. And here's Uncle Julio's. This is what we're here for, the chocolate lover's pinata. But we also might get an appetizer or something too. Yeah. They gave us chips and salsa, so we'll start there. And we'll just kind of peruse the menu. Okay, whatever this salsa is, I really, really like it. It is so good. And it's not spicy. My stomach did take over. Here are our steak fajita quesadillas. Look what they gave me. Stick to hit the pinata. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. Good job. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. This looks so good. 
is good. This looks amazing. So let's see, there's strawberries and churros and these are little chocolate filled empanadas and they also put pineapple and blackberries which when we did this before a few months ago they didn't have that. And then there's all kinds of chocolate and caramel and whipped cream on the board. Oh my goodness, heaven, heaven, heaven. This is what my husband is doing. He has resorted to dipping a piece of chocolate in chocolate. <laughs> we are all done with our meal. It wasn't even really a full meal. We had an appetizer, which is really good. I like this steak fajita quesadillas. And um, the dessert was awesome. So we went there for my birthday, and that was a couple months ago. So I've had that chocolate pinata once before. Well, we have. And it was really good then, and it was really good now. And this was the chocolate lover's pinata, so it was the one that's like a little bit more. But they put strawberries and pineapples and blackberries, and we thought it was only gonna come with the strawberries inside and not the pineapples and blackberries. So that was kind of neat. And it was just amazing. It was also delicious. The cups of little chocolate sauce, um, those were my favorite, chocolate on the whole board. And then the warm chocolate-filled little donut hole empanadas. Those are my favorite of the food that was in there. So did you have a favorite? I like the chocolate pudding stuff too. Yeah, okay. It it reminds us of chocolate pudding, the chocolate that is the dipping sauce in the little white cups. That's that's really kind of what it was like. I mean it was soupier but it tasted like pudding. It was really delicious though. So I also like was embarrassed to ask the guy if I could take the chocolate home but I did. We got a to-go box and put the big chocolate pieces from the pinata in here. And then I also took some of the strawberries home. And the only reason I didn't probably eat all the strawberries when they were there is because they're like frozen. And I don't like eating frozen fruit like that. So I've got to let them thaw a little bit. But we also have some of the empanadas and churros left. And I also would have liked to have kept the whipped cream, but that's kind of weird. Like, I wouldn't really keep whipped cream from a restaurant because they give you so much whipped cream and it is so good. We were talking about that at the restaurant, that it, they're not chintzy with the chocolate sauce that they drizzle on the board for dipping. They're not chintzy with the two cups of chocolate sauce they give you. And they're not chintzy with the whipped cream or the stuff. I thought there was a really good amount of stuff in the pinata too. Yeah. So it's an expensive, like once in a while treat because it was $30, but I love the thing. I just think it's amazing. But anyway, it was a good uh, time and a really fun treat and a really awesome dessert. And I just love going there and I love getting that. So that's it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, hi everybody. So it's several hours later since we've gotten home and uh, I was hit by a large sugar coma, food coma of some kind and fell asleep immediately upon getting home from Uncle Julio's. So now I'm awake and I'm not hungry in the least. Not at all, not at all. I can't even think about eating something, but I'm gonna have something to drink. So I'm making my apple cider vinegar concoction. And my sister's playing, what are you playing? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. And it's, sometimes she gets shot. I don't know, I never played this game. Here's my drink. And it doesn't have any pomegranate juice because lately I've been putting pomegranate juice in it, but I ran out and I realized that I like it better with pomegranate and apple juice mixed. So I picked the game and we're playing Deluxe Super Scrabble. This was actually a gift that I gave my husband for our wedding and we haven't played it in a really long time. So since it's our anniversary, I thought we'd play. And I'm off to a small start, but that's okay. This is so unfair. Look at this word he made. This is gonna be worth 19 points. Just this one alone? Oops. Times four. Times four. I'm so mad. <laughs> it's not 76. I'm calculating. Wait. 19 times four. How is that possible? I'm so bad at math. 76 plus those four, plus four from, the, from the word sire. 
80 points? You probably broke like a world record, you lump. Ugh. We have a helper for our game. The, normally the cats are not allowed on the kitchen table because that's, you know, not good. But she's so cute and she won't leave us alone and something's obviously on her mind. So she has laid herself directly in front of me, you know, which makes it really easy. Hey you, hey you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you're just being cute. I'm, I'm sorry that I ruined your 42 point word. Okay, I'm eating. Now, so my sister is baking and she made a bundt cake. And it looks good, but we, so we cut the bottom off then she's putting glaze on the bottom. So what kind of glaze is it? Just sugar? It's just a sugar glaze. And then I'll dust it with powdered sugar once we turn it over, but the glaze needs to. So can it sit like this all night? It can, but I don't. Oh, look it. It what? made a little hole. Well, I don't expect that it'll take on mica. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. We're sampling the part we cut off. It's good. It was not a very good game. That's our final board. I had some tiles left. And here are our final scores. I got 514. My husband got 635. That is sad. I got killed. <laughs> it was fun though. Just frustrating towards the end. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This really worked. It really looks nice. Let's see our pan. Oh, never mind. It's all goopy, but that looks really good. Yeah, I stick some powdered sugar on it. Oh, this looks good with all that powdered sugar. Are we gonna cut it and sample it? Can we I? We are. Ah. We are gonna cut it. Cool. Good morning from the outlet mall. So it's Labor Day and we're gonna do some outlet shopping. So this is our outlet mall in Aurora, Illinois. I'm heading into Kate Spade. So here's the clearance section at Kate Spade and they have 75% off the clearance items. So for example, here's a purse that is 270 dollars and then 75% off of that. I have this purse, but with sparklies. I think she just has something that she likes. That's right. Oh, we'll have to go see. They're close too. Let's see, so that's one ninety-eight, and then seventy-five percent off. More clothes. Gosh, 300 and then 75% off. Not bad, not bad. A lot of blacks and neutrals. Hmm, no price. I really like this one. I'm thinking about this. So some items are 70% off. This is very pretty. Also 70% off. It's really cute. Do you want something with a little more design than just this plain oh, that's black what I'm one? Wondering. Yeah, these are cute though for 119, and they come with a little um, wristlet. I like this little style too. I like this weird. Yeah, and then 60% off phone cases. So if the glasses are 60% off, how much do they end up coming out to? Cause these are really cute. I wish I wore my contacts now. They're 95 full price. 38. They come out to 38, not bad. Jewelry is 70% off. Lots of earrings and bracelets. Full price, 48. Uh, 
These are 79. So some stuff is individually marked and just tells you what it is rather than a percent off. Yeah, I like the green case. So we got some sunglasses. I got these sparkly pink ones and my sister got sparkly gold and they came out to what, about 38 each? Yeah. Now we're going into my favorite store here, which is a Disney store. Yeah, I love all this Halloween stuff. You're right, yeah, I've got this shirt. So cool. It's 20. Oh, I saw this online. I definitely want this. This is 15. And they have clearance stuff. Um, it's all taken extra 25% off. Got some coloring kits and art stuff. That's cute, this you foofy notepad set. I've seen that, that's $6 and then 25% off. That's awesome. <gasps> yes, we need that mug. And then turn it around. <laughs> What's this though? Five scented sticky notepads, mini gel pens, and sticker sheets. So cute. For $10 and then a little less. Paint sets and some kind of jewelry set or something. Wall art. This stuff's all 25% off. They're really cool floaties. Captain America and Spider-Man and the Millennium Falcon. This one I definitely need. He's on sale for 25. Oh, so fun. This hat is only $6 and then even more on sale. We got some growlers. We saw this real like early in the summer. Yeah. And cute mugs too. Little Mickey sticky notes. I'm a sucker for mugs, so it's really hard. And then Michael Kors too. Very hard. That's really cute. Darth Vader purse. That's only seven dollars, and then twenty-five percent off of that. I mean, some of these prices are really good. Not that one. No one. <laughs> for what? The gr that seventeen. For that growler thing? Is it? It says eight. It's eight. And then 25% off of eight. So anyway, look at this Pluto plush. Oh my gosh, it's $4 and then 25% off. <gasps> He's so soft and squishy. Oh my goodness. Feel him. And he's only $4 and then on sale. I know. And here's the little owl from Sleeping Beauty. Oh my goodness. On sale clothes. I think this is my section. I'm getting this, just so we know. I'm getting this Nightmare Before Christmas shirt, and it's, hold on, there's a price tag somewhere. It's $7, and then 25% off of that, so it's like five and change. Okay, let me see this Zoom Zoom, let's see. Oh, so cute. I like that, how much is she? Jeez, $10 for a changing one, wow. And they have some villain stuff here. Oh, who else is there? Who is Evil Queen from Snow White? Yeah. Yikes, yikes. It's a little hard though. That's all right. Turn them inside out, but. <laughs> oh, look at it and then there, she's the witch with the apple. Oh, that is funny. That's really funny. These Maleficent horns are 20. They're awesome. I mean, they're really like, they've they're got cool. plastic in there. They're really sturdy. And then there's some jewelry and a Maleficent shirt. Oh, a villain's shirt. Make the rules. Look at this stuff. It's so cute. This hat with horns and a villain's mug and notebook. Okay, this is so cool. Look at all the adult costume stuff that they have. Here's Nightmare Before Christmas. And then there's Alice in Wonderland and Lilo and Stitch and Mickey and Minnie. It's amazing. There's so many adult costume options now. 30 for this Lilo shirt. 
I mean, just awesome, awesome stuff for Halloween. Little headband, Mad Hatter hat. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> he's coming out with us and here's a baby stitch. The baby stitch is 20. How much is our big super duper stitch? 140. <gasps> How wide is his tag only says 100. Really? Yeah. Um, he's coming okay. out. <laughs> he's coming out. <laughs> so cute and big. Oh my gosh. Look at these awesome, awesome Nightmare Before Christmas things. This mug, that's what I, I think my sister showed that already, but just in case, that is 17. And there's a purse, and are these Tsum Tsums for them? Yeah, there's some, well, there's a Jack Tsum Tsum. And look at this really cool candy tray, candy dish, it spins, it's got Oogie Boogie on it. Adorable mugs with Jack and Sally, Oh, Those are 17, and here's a candle holder for Jack. Really cool, Sally sweatshirt, that is 60. Or here's a Jack jacket for 70. This Oh My Disney line is really making cute stuff. Lots of cute stuff for adults. Hey, there's fuzzy Mickey ears and Mickey gloves, bags. This is very cute. I like this little coin purse. It's a Mickey, what is it, like a varsity jacket? Letterman's jacket? Yeah. That's 60. Lots of cute kitchen stuff. And then kids' kitchen stuff also. They already have some Christmas stuff out. Ladies' pajamas, I know. Kids' stuff. Uh, there's stuffed animals, a throw blanket. Whatever the theme is, or this like design for this year, looks very cute. Tree topper. Um, what are these? Oh, like tri trivets maybe? That's cute. And adorable mugs. 15. And then there are a lot of kids' costumes. So um, some of the usual stuff, but everything's out for Halloween and kind of prominent for Halloween. So and pretty much any costume you're looking for, I bet you could find it here. They have a great big, huge selection right now. Lots of princesses too. We're in the Fannie Mae store. Oh my goodness, it's chocolates and all kinds of stuff. Oh, they have some fall stuff out already. Bread mix and little foil leaves, turkeys. The boxes are pretty good deals, I think. The milk chocolate box is $5. Yeah, and we got a sample too. Mint meltaways are good, but my favorite thing here is pixies. So this pumpkin chocolate bread mix is only $5. That sounds pretty good. Assorted chocolates, 14 ounces. That's a good size, three for 25. Oh my gosh, they still have stuff left from Easter. $1 little chocolate bunnies, or they have bigger ones for $3.25. <gasps> I could melt them and put them in hot cocoa. Oh, that sounds good. And they have more bunnies and stuff over here. Look at the hollow ones. I love these cute foil wrapped ones. These are only a dollar also. They have a pond here, like a little, you know, man-made pond, but it's cute. And there's some food trucks here today too. At Vera, they've got 50 and 30. So we're gonna go in. It's a little busy. Those are cute. I'm not so familiar with the new patterns, but they seem really cute. I like this mint green. This is a problem because I like the blanket so much. Yeah, we just have that. I was gonna say I like the blue one. I like the blue one. I like this one. I'm really tempted by this one. This one just isn't pink enough. Yeah, it's got a lot of like copper or something in it. But they'd end up being 17. 
They have luggage and everything. Spinners, does that mean it actually like spin spins? Yep. Oh yeah, cool. They have fanny packs too, or as they call them, belt bags. So the full price is 58, but then it'd be, you know, 50%, 30% off of that. So look at it, it's got little pockets inside, Oop. and card slots, and a zip pocket, and a zip pocket on the outside. I like it. Well, we are home now. It got rainy and very crowded at the outlet. So I got those sunglasses I showed you earlier, and we also stopped into Victoria's Secret and a couple other places, including Bath and Body Works, where I got my very first wall plug-in things. I've never used these before, so I got one for fall and one for Halloween. These will go in my downstairs powder room. And then I got a couple scents. It was like five for 23, so. I hope I like using these. Um, I just picked some random ones that I thought smelled good. They're all wrapped up in there, so. That's it for now. Thanks very much for hanging out with me these last couple days for my vlogging, and I will talk to you later. Bye.